Okay, so here we go. Uh, we've got Insidious Gaming as the blue side starting to the north. Their opponents, the Immortals, as the orange uh, yellow coated team to the south. And, yeah. and, and. Yeah, this time around, uh, Insidious Gaming not going with that Vorsa, so going with that classic standard lineup with the with two aims of these plus three one tens. A very similar lineup coming out from the Immortals as well, also going with the pair of aims of these. And then two uh, IS3s, and then the T69 to balance that all out. Early on, we do see Insidious Gaming for the, going for the soul top. Quite yep. surprising. Indeed, uh, they're all going for it. Although, uh, the, the, I, I'm not too sure about this because uh, the Sirius and his T69 will probably make the climb first if he decides to do so. And uh, meanwhile, it's leaving the field wide open. So, uh, well, you know, Insidious... Yeah, I'm just I'm pretty confident as to their ability to come back and defend this, but it is taking quite a bit of a risk here, uh, committing all those tanks to the climb. Yeah, most definitely. So we do see some uh, chatting going down here. Uh, I believe one member of the uh, of the Immortals is mem is lagging right now. Uh, we might have to restart this. I hope not, because uh, I mean we're already you know more than a minute into the set here. Insidious Gaming. Oh, actually, Hades may be getting disconnected. Well, keep us updated on that front. Uh, meanwhile, the Immortals haven't budged, really. They have spread out around uh, their southern starting position. Uh, just, uh, well, yeah, uh, taking just a close look at yep, uh, yeah, the formation. Yeah, we're going to restart this. Yeah, Hades was actually disconnected, I believe, uh, from the battle. So we will have to restart this map. We did see... Uh, efficient